Welcome back to the channel, guys. This is Karen, better known as KJ. And over here, we love all things food, fun, and fashion. And today, we are back with some home updates. And as you can see, we have gotten in the Lola dining table from CB2. And I love it. I absolutely love it. And... Um, yeah, let's talk about it. As we talked about before, we styled it with the Jen Boucle chairs from Ta Furniture. And as you can see, we can only comfortably fit three of these chairs around this table. The chairs are pretty wide and they fit under the table just as I thought they would. It just gives me like, I don't know, boutique hotel vibes. I'm really in love with how it turned out and I just kept things really minimal with it. And I'm gonna show you guys the table itself it's pretty heavy guys i had no idea this table was going to be this heavy um it took my husband and i both to get this thing unboxed and put together it comes in two separate pieces the base and the top and it's fairly easy to put together um you just screw the the base onto the top of the table and i think it was about eight screws if I remember correctly. Um, I'm gonna go on around and let you see that only three of these wide chairs would fit comfortably underneath this table. I just love how it turned out. Let me, got, let me know what you guys think about how it turned out in the comments. I really love it. Um, I didn't do too much decorating to it yet. I just kept it very minimal. I got this um, terracotta vase from, I, if I'm not mistaken, I got it from West Elm and it was on sale, I think for like 60 bucks. Um, I got these sprigs um, from Amazon and they came in a box of like maybe eight and um, they look very realistic. And um, I think they were about 20 bucks. Can't remember correctly, but I can link everything below. And I'm in love. I'm, I am gonna put a few books, maybe two books, one or two books underneath the vase, just to give it um, a little bit more styling. And yeah, it's very minimal, very, chic modern we're in love i didn't think that my husband was gonna love it um after i put everything after we got the table put together and i put the chairs underneath he said great job so yeah we are both in love with how everything turned out and yeah we have not eaten at this table yet guys so um I did read a few comments that people said that this table scratches very easily. I'm not sure yet. Like I said, we have not eaten here yet, um, but it's beautiful. We're happy with it. I love the chair table combo. Um, I'm in love with how, the, how it looks here in the lighting. Yeah, very satisfied with that. Um, no, we have not eaten here. I guess we will when company comes over, which is rare for us. It's just my husband and I living here. So, 
yeah, we'll see how that goes and I'll keep you guys updated on how the wear and tear is on this table. And it's the Lola dining table again from CB2. Uh, yeah, so in love. And these chairs again are the Gin Boucle chairs from Tov Furniture, T-O-V Furniture.com. And um, they're linked in the first video, but if I need to link them again here, I will. And this is where we eat most of our meals here. And like I said in the first video, we got these from West Elm. They're holding up pretty well. We eat here every day. So as you can see, they're holding up really well. We're still in love with these think it was a great purchase um yeah so i did i had some open frames here but i changed them out uh just last week and i really like these these came from let me think these came from hobby lobby and they were 50 something dollars a piece but the day i went they were half off so i got them for like 20 something dollars a piece and they're very moody and i just love it i love how they turned out right here um yeah and it's right across from a huge piece of art that i've had for a long time and that's there and that's going out from the kitchen into the hallway that's here in the kitchen. Yeah, so we are so happy with how all of this has turned out. Hope you guys like it. Leave us um, a comment in the comment section. Let us know how you guys feel about it. But we're in love. And I don't know, um, would you guys put curtains here? I'm not sure if I'll do that, but I don't know should I or should I not let me know in the comments below should I put curtains here like a linen curtain or something um, something very light and flowy nothing too heavy because uh, it's right next to the kitchen and yeah I didn't know I didn't know um, what I should do right here but we're in love hope you guys love it and next up, we're going to talk about the new updates in our living room. We have quite a few. Okay, here in the living room, we have a new piece. Um, it's from our house furniture and it's called online it's called the Lansing day bed and it's leather and it is in a saddle color it's very soft very comfortable and we really like this piece um, it's just gonna give us somewhere to lounge comfortably without having to always sit on the sofa um, or the chair, which is a very light neutral color. So yeah, this is just gonna give us some, some place to sit that we don't have to be so careful on. And we love the piece. My husband actually picked this out. So of course it would be leather. That is his favorite. Um, fabric for furniture so yeah we had to have one leather piece and I love it it's a low profile it's the channel um, design and it has gold like a brushed gold legs on it the leather is very buttery soft and it's super cute we had these extra our house pillows that match the ones that are on the couch. So yeah, these came from our house as well. And we did buy another piece of artwork from our house that's gonna go here. It's a very large painting 
and it's black and white and we're supposed to pick that up this week so i will do another updated video once that is in and yes guys this is the lansing day bed um we did get it on sale i think it was originally like 29.99 and i think we got it for 19.99 um i don't know if it's still on sale but if it's a piece that you like and um you want it i suggest you go online and they have sales often and i am now an our house trade member um i will get my trade number and see if i can pass that along to you guys it will also give you a percentage off if you could use that trade number so yeah the lansing day bed it's super cute very low profile and i think it's a great addition to the living room now we're going to talk about this she is adorable um i don't know the name of this but i got it from tov furniture tov furniture.com and she's very heavy this is a travertine table show you guys the up close look of it and it's super heavy i cannot move this i think the guy said it weighs about 180 pounds. I tried to move it to situate the rug better. My husband is out of town and um, I'm just gonna have to wait until he gets back because I can do nothing with this alone. Um, it's super cute. I love the odd shape of it. That's what drew my attention to it in the first place. Um, it's very cute. These are just some things that I picked up. Um, I got the beads and this little jack or whatever it is. I got those at, I think I got them at Encore. And I got this little game here from our house. And it's just something that I may sit on the coffee table or somewhere else in the house. And it'll just be something to do um, for my husband and I whenever we're bored or company with kids or something like that but i'm in love with this table um i was really afraid uh once i purchased it that i wouldn't like it but guys i am so in love with this i think all of the colors blend so well with what we have going on in the living room the only drawback is how heavy it is. I hate having furniture in the house that I cannot move by myself. My husband works out of town a lot and I'm here a lot by myself. And I like to move things around. I like to pick things up, to mop, sweep, dust, all of that. And this thing is super duper heavy and there's nothing that I can do with it. But the look of it, guys this thing is so cute i mean super cute but let's show you from this angle love it let me know what you guys think of it down in the comment section but i absolutely love it i will link it below just in case one of you guys would like to purchase it and again it's from toddfurniture.com I added this little tree here in the corner recently and all of it came from Hobby Lobby. I purchased the tree. It was on sale. I think it's a five and a half foot and I lifted it up in the vase some with some boxes and to make it just a little bit taller. And I think that tree was on sale for like $34. I got the grass from Hobby Lobby as well. And I have a little light in here that I got from Amazon and it gives a nice ambience at night. 
It lights up this corner very well. Super cute. I'm in love. I got the terracotta vase from Hobby Lobby as well. It was not on sale and she was about $130, but she did not disappoint. I really love it. It has so much texture and it goes with the vibes of this room. Really super cute. I wish it was wider at the top so I could put two lights in, but only one will fit. And I had to really jam the light down in there for it to work. I know that if there was a little bit more room in there, the light could illuminate this corner much more than it does. But I'll have to show you guys that once it's dark outside. But I love it. It's super cute. And that's my own little DIY. So cute. Love it. Got this this week. I'm not sure if I'll leave it here. But I've been looking for a wood or marble pedestal just to fill in some space in empty spaces throughout the house. I have one, a small little empty space in the hallway. I'm looking for something for that. This was empty. Um, I'm not sure I'll leave it here, but it's super cute. It came from our house, the pedestal did as well as this glass hurricane vase, whatever you call it, and the candles. I think this little glass hurricane vase was like $2.29. This pedestal was $1.99. I like it. I don't know if I'll leave that on top of there, but I know once it's lit, that's gonna give a nice, a very nice ambiance when it comes so fall time and we're just sitting, chilling in the living room. It's gonna look really good, but I don't know if I'll leave it on top of this pedestal or if I'll get a, some type of hmm, figurine, something to go here. I'm not, I don't know if I'm in love with how this looks, but for right now, it's just sitting there until I figure out what I'm doing with it. I bought this little, piece from our house. It's not gonna go here. It's just sitting here for right now because it's super heavy. I don't know what I'm doing with it, but my thought when I purchased it was to put some little votive candles throughout the log and light those um, to give a nice ambience as well. I love low lighting candles. That's my vibe. Love it, will always love it. I don't know if you guys love candles and low lighting, but that's that's what I love. And I purchased that with that in mind. So it's gonna go somewhere else, just hasn't haven't figured that out yet, but we'll get there. Um so yeah, those are the four new things that we got this week. The Lansing Day Bed from our house. Coffee table from Todd Furniture. Got this tree and this vase from Hobby Lobby. Got this glass hurricane and this pedestal from our house. And I will link, try and link everything below so that if you guys, any of you would like to purchase, um, you would have those links. And again, I am an Our House trade member I need to locate my number to see if you guys can use that to get a percentage off. So yeah, those are our new updates for the living room. Hope you guys like them. Let us know in the comments. Um, about the decoration for this table, what would you guys do? Let me know down in the comments some things that you would do for decor. These are just some things that I picked up along the way. Not sure what I'm going to do with them yet, but yeah, let me know.